When you look at a human brain, it seems to be wrapped in a wrinkly cover. That cover is called your cerebral cortex. Many people believe that the human cerebral cortex is unusually large, which, if you believe the myth of the triune brain, makes us the most rational animal. It's true that our cerebral cortex is big in an absolute sense, which allows us to do certain things a bit better than other animals. A more scientifically meaningful question, however, is whether our cerebral cortex is unusually large given our overall brain size. To understand why this is a better question, let's consider an analogy. Think for a moment about the variety of kitchens that you've seen in people's homes. Some kitchens are large and some are small. So imagine that you find yourself inside a gigantic kitchen. You might think, wow, I would love to have dinner here because these people must love to cook. But is this a reasonable conclusion? No, not really, not based on kitchen size alone. You must also consider the size of the kitchen in proportion to the size of the rest of the house. A big kitchen in a big house is ordinary. It's just a scaled up version of a typical house plan. A huge kitchen in a small house, however, is definitely a place to stay for dinner because it's much more likely to have a special reason for its size, like its occupants are gourmet chefs. The same principle applies to brains. A big brain with a proportionally big cerebral cortex would not be special. And in fact, that's exactly what we humans have. All mammals have a relatively big cortex in a brain that's relatively big for their body size. Our cortex is just a scaled up version of the relatively smaller cortex found in smaller brain monkeys and chimps and many carnivores. It's also a scaled down version of the larger cortex found in larger brain animals like elephants and whales. The size of our cerebral cortex, therefore, is not evolutionarily novel and does not require a special explanation. The size also says nothing about how rational a species we are. If it did, our most famous philosophers might be Horton, Babar, and Dumbo. To be clear, I'm not saying that our big brains have no advantages. It's true that we're the only animal who can build rocket ships, and invent book clubs like The Next Big Idea. But these abilities are not due to our big brains alone. Also, other animals have evolved abilities that surpass ours in significant ways. We don't have wings to fly, we can't lift 50 times our own body weight, and we can't regrow amputated body parts. Such abilities are superhero powers to us, but business as usual for allegedly lesser creatures. Even bacteria are more talented than we are at certain tasks like living in harsh environments, such as outer space or the insides of your intestines. Your brain is not more evolved than a rat brain or a lizard brain. It's just differently evolved. We humans are just an interesting sort of animal with particular adaptations that helped us to survive and reproduce in particular environments.